Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Judy. Please remember to subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification button. Thank you so much for this day. I'll be talking about praying for the well-being of others, and I'll be basing, I'll be basing my thoughts to the Holy Scriptures. So there are benefits that we we get as we pray for others. You know, in this life, we are passing through many challenges, many trials. People from different backgrounds have very different challenges, and it is very difficult for one to open up to you and say that, hey, girl, hey, hey, there, pray for me. So it is better that if you have your girls, if you have your family members, relatives, your church members, and your community, just remember them in prayers. In this way, you'll be in a way praying to God so that God can answer your prayers. So, number one is that when you pray for others or when you are praying for the well being of others, God restores your fortune. Yes, whatever you, you lost, God restores them. This will be reflecting in Job chapter 42. Verse 10, and I'll read to you. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. This verse clearly explains that when you are praying for the well being of others, your friends, your family members, your community, then God restores your fortunes double. In double fold another benefit that you will get when you are praying for for others is that you live in prosperity and pleasantness you live in abundance in fulfillment and in joy and happiness this is reflecting in job chapter 36 verse 11 i read for you if they hearken and serve him and complete their days in prosperity, if they hearken and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity and their years in pleasantness. Know that praying for others is another way of serving God. So when you serve God in a way of praying for others or taking care of others, then in that way god has completely said that you'll complete your days in prosperity and your years in pleasantness so it is very very crucial to pray for for the well-being of others another benefit that you'll get is that you will receive what you pray for if you are praying for your friends to be blessed and live in abundance that is the same portion you will get from god so don't pray for others to get misfortunes no no pray that they expand their territories pray that they are blessed this is reflecting in ephesians ephesians chapter 6 ephesians chapter 6 verse 8 i read that for you For he who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. So whatever you pray for others is what exactly what you'll get. This is an encouragement that if you are praying for others, please remember that pray that they are blessed, pray that they live in good health, Pray that they are blessed each and every day. And then another benefit that you'll get is seen in Galatians. In Galatians. Galatians 6, 10. Where it says that, So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all men, and especially to those who are the household of faith. Remember that it's very important for us to be given an opportunity from God 
to serve him in a way of praying for others so it is very very crucial to pray for others and pray that they are blessed pray that they overcome the challenges that they are facing pray that they receive the grace to tackle the temptations and the corruption and the challenges that they are facing they are facing thank you so much for listening remember to subscribe hit that notification button and you will be blessed like the video thank you